Hello, so this is our fourth clip in, this, in, in a series of clips that we've been putting together. I was working with, with Sarah, uh, the first time she'd ever been hypnotized. Now, for those people that are familiar with the world of hypnosis, this, she's already been in and out of hypnosis three, four times prior to this, uh, something that we call fractionation and re-induction. So I didn't have to work too hard as far as the induction process was concerned. We got her engaging her imagination. We did the classic mind's eye close, uh, breathing through her hand, something I, I, I originally learned from Terence Watts. And then deepened that process. Now earlier on in the day, in a previous session, we've been using my pen as part of the process. With this process we, we, we wanted to, to engage the idea of her forgetting that the pen existed, that the pen was any part of it, and actually it was a banana all along. And uh, so we had her hallucinate the idea and forget a number of stuff that went on there. You'll notice that um, um, despite me not really doing much of a pre-talk at any stage with Sarah, other than some preparatory work I did on the telephone with her, um, you'll notice that I, I use a response set, which is um, um, sort of getting the mind accustomed to a theory, a sense, a notion before it starts to happen. Because it's quite a big ask sometimes to generate and elicit that kind of phenomena. Um, um, so rather than, than take that challenge, I thought I'd build in a response set, uh, discuss it, talk about tip of the tongue phenomena, imagine it, sort of anchor it with this idea of me going poof, it's gone and then notice that happening. Again, if you want the transcript and the full explanation, follow the link to my website from this, uh, from this clip and, uh, and you'll see all of that explained in some detail. Enjoy. Okay, we're gonna start, we're gonna start, uh, we're gonna start with something slightly different now. And um, um, so what we're gonna do, uh, you know that experience sometimes, you're walking through a town center, walking through a town centre or you're walking through a familiar place and you see someone that you know. I mean, clearly you know them, it's obvious, you've had a lot of encounters with them, you know their name, but you go to introduce them to perhaps a partner or someone that you're with and poof, it's gone. It's just gone, where did that go? Or maybe you've done that thing where um, you've been listening to, to, to a song on the radio and you've heard it loads and hundreds of times, you've danced to it, you've sung to it in your bedroom perhaps, with your, with your hairbrush in front of the mirror and, and you think, hey, who sings this? Who is this by? And you can't remember. Um, but then perhaps, you know, a while later you'll be lying in bed a couple of days later and poof, there it is. But at a certain time it just disappears. And like sometimes you can be sat at home or, or and then you get up with some purpose, with some volition, and off you pootle into another room and you get into that room and you think, what did I come here to do? What did I come here to do? What on earth? This, this kind of phenomena, often referred to as tip of the tongue phenomena, uh, uh, well, we, we, we sort of know, it's back there somewhere, perhaps, and we feel like we ought to know, but poof, it's vanished, it's gone, it's done. In order, and, and that's a process in and of itself, it's a very clever thing to do, in fact. Um, um, it's, it will probably be harder not to do it, you know? Um, so in order to, to forget anything, you must remember the process of forgetting. So. Ideally, we want to remember the process of forgetting again here within something that we're going to do now. Okay, so are you ready for us to begin? Yes. Good. Get, get yourself nice and comfortable. Get ourselves into our, uh, our, our kind of hypnotic position where we're going to have you focused and engaged inside of your mind. Just take a slightly deeper breath. As you exhale, just allow your eyes to be comfortably closed and then just zone in on your breathing. Just become aware of your breathing. And then just start to do that thing where you just let your breathing happening so that you aren't interfering with it. Almost as if you're just observing it happening. And while you're just watching your breath, noticing it, allowing it to happen, inside of your mind start to act as if you are in hypnosis. Start to behave as if you are in hypnosis. Inside of your mind start to convince yourself. And the more you convince yourself, the more you notice and start to react and respond. Notice all those tiniest of cues that are existing and happening and going on now. Perhaps you notice the difference in the frequency with which you've been swallowing, because I've certainly noticed that. Now then, as you are comfortable with your breathing, start to imagine that rather unusual idea. Imagine you can breathe in 
through your fingertips. And as you breathe out, it's like that air travels down through your body and out through your toes. So the relaxation and the comfort that you breathe in as you go deeper inside of your mind is not interfering with anything that you just let go of as you breathe out comfortably, easily, gently. Now I wonder what that experience is like. I wonder what it feels like to drift to the deepest depths of your mind. I'm not suggesting that you can do that now. I just wonder what that would be like for you. Now inside of your mind, Sarah, I'd like you to have a good think and have an imagined thought and just think about that pen that we used in our first session. I had you staring at it. Imagine that you're staring at it once again. I'm holding it up in front of you. But this time, start to imagine the pen gradually beginning to float and move further and further away from you. And as it moves further away from you, as it becomes smaller and smaller and it goes further away, so it starts to vanish in history. So it starts to vanish from your mind, so it starts to disappear. In fact, your own thought processes begin to become less and less and less as far as that was concerned. And what was it that I was talking about even? And the more I think about it, the less I can remember what it was I was talking about. But inside of your mind, far away in the distance, where that thing disappeared, I can't remember what it was, perhaps it was just an old thing that you can't remember anymore, and the more you try to remember, the more it's just gone. Poof! It's just gone, it's just disappeared, like that tip of the tongue phenomena type of experience that just begins to tingle and wash itself all over your brain right now. So that your brain starts to remember the process of forgetting. So as it's forgotten what it can't currently remember that's out there somewhere, off in the horizon you begin to see something yellow coming your way. And that might sound a little bit unusual, a little bit different. So off in the horizon begins to come something yellow, different. And you notice that it is a banana. Over there, in the distance, a banana coming your way, coming nearer and closer and closer. And you begin to realize that it was a banana that I was using throughout this entire session. It's a banana that I've got in the top of my suit pocket. It's a banana that has been there throughout this entire process. And you imagine and remember that first moment when I took that banana out of my pocket, when I held it in front and I held it up in the air. And you begin to remember and recall. Now when you are sure that you absolutely remember what it is you need to remember about that banana, you know what that banana looks like, you know what it is, that thing that we use throughout that session, it's a banana, you know it, you see it, it becomes part of who and how this experience has been today. When you're absolutely sure that you remember it, you know what it looks like. You remember it being in my top pocket of my suit. In fact, it's still there, it's poking out just a little bit. Then you can open your eyes to that world where that banana exists. That's it, great, great. So, um, um, do you remember me using this? Okay. Um, 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 and. Uh, so uh, what were we doing earlier? What was what was that thing we were using? You remember you remember us using it? Yeah, we're up here. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it was a banana. And 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 anything particular about that banana you remember? It was yellow. It was yellow, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm um, 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 fairly fresh looking or old or unusual? Fresh. Fresh, fresh. And you remember that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and you're sure you remember that, right? And um um the more you're sure that you remember it, the more amazing this whole experience can become for you. Okay, great, great. And, um, slightly deeper breath. As you exhale, just allow your eyes to be comfortably closed. And we'll begin to put some stuff back. Because certain things are gone and certain things begin to return to their 
true self, their true place. So even as you are struggling and grasping, your mind begins to recall and becomes comfortable with the pen. The banana begins to become just a figment of your imagination, your amazing, powerful, very capable imagination. And again, I'd just like you to take a moment, thank yourself, and I'd like to thank you for being such a wonderful, receptive, open subject, and you're beginning to find that you respond even better to the use of your imagination, your will, you're developing and becoming even more aware of your own power. Perhaps some of your experiences out there in life begin to develop and you begin to benefit even more at some deeper levels of mind. Like you're becoming stronger, more influential, more sure of who and how you are. Take a moment inside of your mind, thank yourself. I'm just going to count one to five to bring this session to an end. While I'm counting, all sensations are returning to their true sense of perspective. The banana becomes just a figment of your imagination that you remember that you're only imagining it. The pen becomes something that you realize did exist and you know existed. And it was just a pen. Notice the difference coming up and out now then in one, two, three, four and five. Eyes open on five. Just take a nice deep breath. Just keep your fingers, maybe your toes a little wiggle and we'll be all nice and done. Okay. Thank you.